right, guys, got some really good feedback from you this week. At the beginning of the week, I put out a, a questionnaire, a sort of like asking if you could, um, if you had a meeting with Frontier and you could tell them like one thing, um, your kind of hopes and aspirations for the game, uh, if, you know, and it, what would you tell them or what would be a don't do or a please add this. And uh, you guys had some pretty interesting stuff. So we'll go ahead and uh, we'll jump into those right now. The first one that I've got lined up here is from Sal the Buffalo. Sal said, I would love to see a system where we can build custom netting slash mesh aviaries. For example, the way I would go about this is by allowing the player to first place an anchor point or the highest point that the mesh will attach to such as a central pole or fake tree. Next, the player can drag out a line to place on poles fence posts surrounding the central pole. From this system, the mesh would be generated with a realistic amount of slack or drape as they do it in real life. This would lead to endless options, primate exhibits, cat exhibits, birds, very all, you know, all very common in zoos and uh, no zoo game has had this much needed feature. And I think that is a very, very cool suggestion from Sal. Now, of course, I'm not a video game programmer. I mean, all this stuff sounds really cool to me. I do not know how hard that would be to implement, though, but that would be really cool to kind of have a drag and drop um, net option, essentially, kind of like your fences work in uh, Jurassic World Evolution, but to have that net option, um, really, really cool, cool suggestion, and thanks, Sal the Buffalo, for that. Then moving on to Dakar93, uh, Dakar said, I would love to have a staff mode so that we can walk through the zoo and can do some stuff like clean the enclosure, take photos, drive a vehicle, and I am right with Dakar on that. I think that would be an awesome idea if we could get in and cut up the food or like strap that big vacuum to our back and like walk around and suck up the poop and, you know, just all of that type of uh, staff interaction stuff I think would be uh, would be pretty neat. So cool one on that. Ian J. Funny said, could animals swim underwater like hippos, crocodiles, and other types of animals that usually behave that way in the water? And I think really what Ian J. is alluding to is we want to be able to see the animals actually submerged in the water, you know, like the hippos and crocodiles. Basically, I think the Ian J. brings this up is because we've not really seen any animals completely under the water even the crocodiles are swimming on top the hippos on top the the um the uh, grizzly bear swimming completely on top of the water none of them with their heads completely submerged so not quite too sure about that and why we have not seen that yet but yeah good suggestion on enj funny on that one then brandon bordwick said make the path uh, safari trucks run on flat and add a driver these are never automated in real zoos and safari parks so brandon is really wanting to see a driver in those safari trucks and uh, basically he's also saying he wants to the, the safari trucks to be able to drive just on the ground not necessarily having to have that track i think that would be a good idea i wish i'm hoping that there is a like an invisible track option, kind of like with the invisible walls, um, because I think that would really heighten the realism um, instead of having that big track that I think is going to be very difficult to hide, even with the terrain and all that. Um, let's see, Saga Lindy said, I would love a staff mode. That was one of the best things in Zoo Tycoon 2. And then Natalie followed her up with staff mode. I second that. So a lot of lot of you guys are really, really interested in the, uh, in the staff mode, and I think that would be really, really cool. Uh, Chrono comes in next and says, this game also needs a way to make artificial earth bank walls. They are the plaster walls that are painted and often look like rocks. I know the terrain tool is similar, but it isn't the same as artificial retaining walls. So pretty neat idea on that, Chrono. I think you are going to be limited limited to your terrain tool, like with as far as what you're wanting, but still, still neat idea with the, uh, with the whole plaster wall, um, artificial embankment, uh, artificial earth bank type idea. Pretty, pretty cool on that. 
Um, next up, Molly is having a beef with the small animals. And uh, Molly said, I would like a better focus to small animals or terrarium animals, as they're called. I've seen some incredible work done on Planet Zoo, but small animals just seem to be neglected. The terrariums were, to me, kind of disappointing. I don't like the fact that they're confined to a really small, specific terrarium. The terrariums seem to have very little creative freedom. The simple changes you make to a terrarium, like adding a light or a rock or a major step down from the massive piece-by-piece -piece climbing structures and buildings. I've also heard news that the exhibit animals don't move around. They sit there like animatronics, which is actually, that has been confirmed. They will not move um, while you're watching them. Once you move the camera away and come back, they have the possibility of being moved, but they will not traverse the terrarium while you're sitting there watching them. Um, and then he said, that will be kind of sad if that's true compared to the dynamic behaviors the larger animals get. In real life, the exhibit for these small animals are more dynamic than a square glass box. I'd love to see more freedom in terrariums where you can change the foliage or have curved glass walls or just have really big tanks. Some cases, these small animals aren't always confined to terrariums. I've seen iguanas kept on small island exhibits and in large cages and other animals like lemurs. Small exhibits in real life are a major part of zoos, especially smaller zoos that don't have space for larger animals. And I'd hate to see these key animals neglected. So yeah, Molly is definitely, Miley is definitely wanting some work done on the terrariums. Then my buddy Rudy, Rudy the Camel has stopped by and made, a, made an appearance with us. And he said, I want there to be backstage tours and guided tours to be a thing. And I think that is really, really cool because that is a big staple in real zoos too, getting to get those behind the scenes look or you show up at the zoo an hour early or you get to stay an hour after closing and just all of those backstage guided type tours really really cool and uh, especially with you don't have all the crowds to deal with so really cool Rudy really awesome idea on that and uh, maybe one day that will happen so big shout out to Rudy next up is George B Gambla I would like to see different type of transport rides like different styles of trains or buses to add to the zoo theme open air gondolas would be cool too also maybe horseback riding for guests not sure if that would work though but maybe in a zoo setting maybe some camel rides hey it's planet zoo and it's our imagination whatever we get in the game this is going to be awesome s stan wolf great job on your videos big thank you george thank you for stopping by and um, actually engaging with us and bringing this up in the comment in the community section. Really, really cool. And next up is Premier Fong said, based on what I see, I feel it limits my creativity. I feels like the safari all the time. I'm used to China style enclosures and I want to make that. So what I would say to that Premier is don't get your hopes down. I think there's going to be a lot of different biomes. We know that there's going to be a Northern European biome, the safari. So don't hold out, don't lose hope that you won't get some kind of Chinese, maybe mountainous China far east asian um you know type of biome still really really early not a lot of information out on that yet so you may end up uh getting your wish and then uh, next up actually we take a break over to let me pull up twitter real quick and just make sure i don't want to miss any of you guys on twitter it starts out with Oh, my buddy Wolf Tenor. Yeah. Wolf Tenor says, please, for the love of all things holy, give us a pathing tool and a terrain tool that works without making our collective heads explode. I just want to dig a hole and put down a level path without jumping through hoops. Well, our buddy Beyond Drew actually commented on that as well and said, as far as he can tell, with talking to some of the people that were actually at Frontier and have kind of seen a little bit of that, um, it is going to be the same style as Planet Coaster. So I'm thinking maybe our retool with that probably comes with a planet coaster 2 type deal so 
I don't know. We'll just kind of have to wait and see on that one, Wolf. But you might still have some pathing headaches coming your way. Um, fight, uh, My buddy Fight or Flight Gamer said, I would like to know if there will be a significant management system as I'm not a great custom builder. As much as I love seeing what the, community, what the creative community builds, my hope is that the main focus is animal care and not mainly on making custom buildings. And I think we're in a really good place with Planet Zoo. I think they know that the, the management management side was lacking on uh, on uh, pl- on the planet coaster side and was a little too much on the Jurassic World evolution side so i think this is going to be a perfect balance a really good mix of the creative matched with the management the beefy management side so like i said it uh, kind of bounced off those two games kind of went their opposite ways but planet zoo i think is really going to encompass a lot of what we want on both sides of the spectrum and uh, really going to bring a lot of this home to a pretty awesome package um, I believe and then Lucas our, our other buddy said invisible jeep track would be cool uh, Swoes said please make the claws of the tiger and all other cats besides uh, the lep- the, uh, the the geppard re- uh, retractable a resting tiger with claws out looks ridiculous and uh, so yeah hope that is something maybe small they'll be able to work on I think they can maybe make those claws a little bring those claws back in I know they have a little bit of um, cartoony kind of planet coaster liberty they have to take but uh, I don't know maybe something small that can be fixed. Uh, Andrew Crossley said, please sell a version that has Planet Coaster included so I can build an animal theme park like Bush Gardens. And I think that is kind of more hearkening on the Planet Coaster 2 type mischief. Um, I think that could definitely be a possibility one day. Um, I don't think we're going to get any kind of Planet Coaster, Planet Zoo crossover, but Planet 2, now that might be something that could be coming down the line. Very, very interesting stuff. And the last one that I got was Travis Roberts said, I just want there to be bison. Can there be bison? And I'm really looking forward to bison too. And that whole, like I said, that Northeast, um, you know, Montana, big sky country. You know, we, we know we're getting the grizzly bears, but I would love like the elk and the bison and, you know, uh, like the bald eagles, all that type of stuff um, from like that Northeast, you know, that Northwest uh, Pacific Northwest type uh, type biome and those type of animals I think would be really really cool we know we've got the gray wolves coming so that is really really neat but yeah guys I just wanted to jump in and give your give some of your feedback and just kind of get the pulse of kind of some of the stuff you guys are wanting and what you've been talking about and uh, but yeah thanks for stopping by and hanging out with me and continue this down below and maybe we can kind of feed off some more of this info that's out here and thanks for everybody that stopped by and took time to to comment on this i think i got to all of you if i didn't get to you go ahead and put it down in the comment below and don't forget to subscribe to keep up with all this planet zoo content and uh, give me a thumbs up if you end up enjoying this video and uh, yeah thank you guys i will catch you in the next video thank you see you